Hey everyone and welcome back to God of War. On this video we're going to be starting the quest Path to the Mountain. And this quest is super long so we're going to be splitting this into three, maybe even four videos. On the highest peak in the realms we'll scatter Mother's Ashes. Father beat the stranger at our door, but we're not safe there anymore. Ready or not, we're heading to the mountain. mountain. And the reward is 2,000 experience. Who was he? I do not know. Who was us? We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. Press circle to walk across the ledge. The kid thinks we're nobodies. That's funny. Could have died. Never leave me alone again. All right. All right. Up. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals, I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. Aim the camera with the right stick, then hold the left stick and press circle to jump. Has this been here all this time? Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but if you break the boxes, barrels, jars, stuff like that, you can get small amounts of uh, hack silver. So it's worth doing if you see any lying around. But I don't think you need to scour for it, it's not that much. Okay, nowhere to go from here, except across this bridge. Think you can lower it from there? Use the left stick to turn the wheel. Press circle to exit. Go. Made it. Press square to command Atreus to drop the chain. Boy. Yes, sir. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. All right, before we move on, let me kick this down. If I need to come back here, I've got a shortcut. Look, all this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. 
No looking back now. Interesting. I think what it was saying there is that she had him cut down the trees that were acting as protection. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. They don't see us. Should I fire? Wait for my mark. Press square to command Atreus to shoot arrows. Sure, go for it. And also, I need to show you my new charge-up heavy attack. Right here. It's useful mainly after parries, in my opinion. Parries on uh, powerful, uh, powered-up enemies. But it has its uses, and I'm quite happy about it. The other thing it's good about... Oops. The other thing... Oh, it's too slow. The other thing it's good for is... Uh, going immune while still killing something. Like, for instance, if you know a projectile is coming, you can use it, go immune, and, uh, ah! And then eat those projectiles. So, I found a few uses for it, and I like it. It's a good ability. I imagine a lot of those abilities that you can pick up are not useful on this particular difficulty. But this one actually is. I was worried about it at first, but I found a use for it. Alright, and there's a ranged guy over here. I should be able to stop him from doing anything, though. Which I did. Threat indicator. Threat indicators around Kratos point toward off-screen enemies. Gold indicators signify nearby enemies. Flashing red indicators signify an incoming attack. And flashing purple indicators signify an incoming projectile. There's, uh, you can press down on the D-pad to perform a quick turn if you like. And there's gonna be a ranged guy spawning right here. And he did. Now one thing I'm trying to cut down on, because it tends to get me in trouble, is actually targeting an enemy. The way it like locks onto enemies is really bad in certain situations. I just took a hit there and I'm like that. Uh, but yeah, it can really get you in trouble and it's gotten me in a lot of trouble, so I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. Oh, and I was too slow. Uh, well, I should probably heal up. Other thing I've been practicing is my parries. Incredibly useful skill. You need to be good at it. Keep the pressure on. Oh, I'm a little worried that now that I injured these guys, they're going to try to power up, so I should probably fight them even though the smarter thing would have been to not damage them at all and go for the ranged dudes. But I've got a nice little nook back here where I can avoid all of the range. Ah. Gotcha! I don't know what lit him on fire but I'm cool with it. Take that. Alright, so there's a projectile incoming. And if I wanted to, like right here, I can do the heavy. The projectile will come and blow up on me, but I'll be immune. Although it didn't actually come for some reason. But that's the strategy around it. Had he actually thrown it, then it would have hit me. And I would have taken none, no damage. How is that? Can I help? If you want to help, 
distracted. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. Quick turn can be remapped in the settings menu. Press the options button to access the gameplay settings. All right, whoops, I didn't mean to hit the options button there though. What I wanna do is go to the bestiary. Whoops. Draugr projectile. These Draugr can shoot fireballs. How do they do that? They like to attack from a distance, which can be really annoying when we're fighting a bunch of other enemies. But luckily, they go down pretty quickly. Luckily indeed. All right, so we got all the shinies here. Look here. Sir. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar? Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. But they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? Yeah. Alright. New lore. A rune read. Giants. Welcome, Yetnar. The Yetnar had a settlement here? Giants, so close to home. But how long ago? Another blue guy, but you can actually hit this one with the axe. Anything else? Space your shots. Speed cost accuracy. Got it. Question marks. These enemies become enraged and super aggressive when you're frosted. Father should do his best to avoid their frost blast attack. Hey, I think there's a chest over there. Hell's Touch, light runic attack. An extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. You have acquired the Hell's Touch light runic attack gem. Runic gems allow you to customize your weapon to enable light and heavy runic attacks. The weapons tab is where you can slot runic gems into your weapon. Move down to select the light runic attack slot. Uh, press X to select your light runic attack slot. Acquired light runic attack gems can be equipped from here. Runic attacks have associated attributes and cooldowns. This one has one damage, two stun on a 30 second cooldown. Uh, use experience to upgrade runic attacks. Upgrading runic attacks improves their attributes. Press X to equip the Hell's Touch light runic attack gem into the Leviathan Axe. Equipped runic attacks are indicated by the E symbol. Press circle to return to the weapons tab. Uh, move down to select the heavy runic attack slot. And acquired heavy runic attack gems can be equipped from here, although we don't have any. Hold L1 and then press R1 to perform a light runic attack. Whoa! How'd you do that? Magic. Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine. See? Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Ugh, more Draugr. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Enemy difficulty. Enemy difficulty is represented by the color and number near their health bar. 
The color of enemy health bars range from green to purple, depending on how powerful they are compared to Kratos. And I have a strategy here. It's hit them into the chasm. Works quite well, too. Much easier than trying to take out their whole, whole health bar. Just send them packing. And we should have more coming. There they are. Oh, dirty. All right, you know what? I am going to use my Spartan Rage, but I'm going to wait till they get over here. Spartan Rage. Oh, I can't. Crap, I thought it was ready. Well, it's pretty much ready. I just need a few more hits. Still not ready, huh? Well, no, I don't need it. <laughs> now, one thing that took me a little while to get used to with the ranged indicators is that you kind of want to dodge after the purple goes away. Because the purple indicates when it's being thrown, but not that it's incoming, as far as I could tell. So once it's disappeared, that means the projectile is actually on its way. Alright, I should be able to just melee stun this guy down. Well, I didn't trust that one. There we go. Now I should be able to just combo him over and over again. Although I got nervous there. He made me nervous. Alright, we're good. Alright, let me grab some health, hopefully. Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. Alright, new entry in the bestiary. Uh, he has to create his projectile before launching it. If either of us can interrupt his attack, he'll have to create it again. I also want to show you something new up there. See that green bird? Kill it. That's an Eye of Odin. Raven God's eyes and ears are everywhere. Dispatch Odin's winged spies and there's 51 in the game. I thought there was some more health around here. Maybe in these jars? There we go. Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Yutnar Marketplace. Trade grounds. Found what used to be a marketplace where gods and giants would meet and trade. Must have been before the war. There's something up there! Something's breaking through the wall! Uh, oh, what happened to my dodge? I hit the button. Alright, well anyways, this is a new enemy. Uh, you can parry his attacks if you want. You can't block them because they'll break right through your guard. Um, but I find actually dodging to be better because it leaves him open for a longer period of time. So dodging is the way that I go, but you could also go with the uh, parry if you want. And whatever you do, don't let them charge up, because then they become an absolute nightmare to deal with. Hey, 
And this is actually a good thing. So Atreus is uh, being grabbed at the moment. And that just means that that guy can't do anything. You don't have to save him. He'll just become incapacitated if you don't. So basically, you just get some free time to not have to worry about whatever enemy has him grabbed. Uh-oh. Got it. And he's dead. All right, we got new enemies coming in. Let's send this one flying over the edge. Let's grab this health, too. We got another skinny guy. Let's see if we can deal with him. Now, one thing that took me a long time to get used to is just being patient. You don't always get the option of going in a melee, and if you try to force it, you're going to have a bad time. Because with these two heavy Draugr dudes around, getting in a melee with him is is a just nightmare situation. So, got to be cool with going range from time to time. Alright, he's dead. Let's focus on this guy. Nope! That's not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah, he's probably gonna try to buff again. See how that targeting was trying to screw me up? That's why I'm trying to avoid it. Stay away. Don't want them both together. Oh! Well, that sucks. No buff. Is that going to be enough health to last through a hit? Uh, I kind of doubt it. I should probably be paying it safe at range, but I'm feeling dangerous. Living on the edge. Alright, I almost got him. Whoa! And dead and health. How are you not tired? I have good conditioning. Heavy Draugr. These Draugr seem bigger than the ones we first encountered. They carry heavier, more dangerous weapons. It makes them slower, but they're a lot stronger than the regular ones. All right, we're moving on. Uh, do you hear that? What is it? We will see. Stay close. Health here, but I think I'm gonna pass on it for now. So we're going towards the scary singing. But not for your arrow. Fire. All right, so. Like I just alluded to, Atreus can break her shield thing. But while that's up, while that yellow aura is around her, you cannot, uh, you cannot hurt her with your axe. So yellow things up, arrow knocked it down, block that. Uh oh, 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 good. That combo interrupted the buff. Whoops, I think she actually did buff. Yeah, she's buffed. 
Let me grab that health. I don't trust her buffed. In fact, I'm gonna shoot her at range. Block that. Block that. Hit that. Good job, Atreus. Dead. That was a real revenant. Never thought I'd see one up close. Uh, use experience to purchase skills. Press the options button to access the skills tab. I don't want to get any skills right now because I'm saving up for some better ones. Uh, but we are going to check the codex for the revenant. Poison. Mother once told me that some witches trade little bits of their soul here and there to become more powerful and say or magic. Eventually, they lose every part of their humanity and become revenants. They can disappear in an instant, and these particular revenants are able to spread poison through touch and breath. And they're nasty. Um, I'm not sure if I'm full health. I think I'm missing just a sliver. Yep. Alright, so if you want to... I understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. So if you want to, you can come down here to get this chest. But uh, there's a nasty heavy dragger waiting for you. Who's level 3 and he's got a skull next to his head. Um, or next to his health bar, rather. Um, if he hits you, he will one-shot you and you cannot parry him. So I hope you've been practicing your dodging if you're going for him. Um, probably smart to just go at range with him. You could go on melee, but if anything goes wrong whatsoever, he's going to one-shot you, and you're going to be very sad. So, I think I'll just kill him at range and play it safe. And just go back and forth with him. And whatever you do, don't let him buff up. Take that opportunity to run past. He tried to buff. That's not allowed. He's got so much health. There we go. Finally got him. Eggers gold. Plus seven. Hack silver. Soft Svartalfheim. Steel. A nasty mud pool thing. Wait, you don't suppose Revan and travel in packs, do you? And there's a bunch of them waiting up there for us? And they're really mad? Boy. Sorry. Imagination. I guess we need to get back up there. But how? Follow me. Some more steel. How dare you try to sneak up on me? Oops. Goodbye. Alright, while I'm over here, I need to break that. Really? And that. The people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. I'm not afraid. If we encounter men, you will stay out of it. Understand? But. I can fight. You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. Alright, there are some Draugr coming up. Now, don't let him buff up. He just tried to do. Block. There we 
we go. Blocked. He's probably going to go for a buff soon. I have that feeling. Oh, crap. Oh, too slow. I screwed that one up. That should have been an easy one to prevent. Well, that's going to complicate things. Ow! What? Where did that come from? I was not paying attention. Well, crap. Come on, you. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe with these. I don't like all the range down there and the angles that I have to avoid. Once I kill this one, I'll go in again. Just gonna play it safe back here, though. And actually, before I go in, I know that there's some health in these jars. All right, now I'm ready. If I make a mistake, I won't die. Oh, hi, you two. Hope you don't mind me crashing in. Nope. Oh, once again. Did not interrupt him. Okay, no, you are definitely not buffing. Hi. Oh, I don't have my axe. And we will stun attack. Look here, another. It says his name is Hrungnir. Mother told me about him. A giant warrior made of stone. Looks like he was in a pretty big battle. Odin's there. Thor? Even the World Serpent. Oh. Thor must have smashed his head apart. See? But look! Hrungnir's body squished him. Idiot. Hrungnir, a mighty giant made of frost and stone. Looks like he had a huge fight with Aesir and Vanir gods. He battles Thor, and it looks like they both lose. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. I've seen this language before. Svartalfheim sealed. The realm of the dwarves is secured. For a promise of security from the rovers of hell, they have made... Asgard custodian to their borders. Now the Vanir will have no hope of Svartalfheim's aid, thanks to Odin's foresight. The elves remain sufficiently distracted. All plans proceed. The Raven Keeper. Uh, do I need health? I need a little bit. That's a lot, though. Oh, and this is one of the ones that changes. I don't know what white gives you, but green is obviously health, red is rage. Uh, I'll grab some health. May as well top off. Wait, aha! I knew there was something over here. Whoops. All right, and we have another one of these chests. We have a rage gem thing right there. Let's see, seal two is right there. There should be one more. 
And seal three. And we've got another Eden apple. Or maybe I dune. Eden sounds better though. All right, I gotta put my axe away. There's gonna be another frost dude. Alright, now I'm gonna quickly bring my axe out and move over here. Shoot her and then rage, push her over. Then we'll come over here, push him over with R2. Then there should be another one spawning. Here we go. They're going over and. Look out! Behind you! That'll be it. Oh, I didn't time my parry right. Oh, I did it again. Terrible. Come on, I can do this. Actually, you know what? Whoa! Well, missed my opportunity to take him by himself. But that's okay. I can knock him over. Oh, I can. Didn't think I could. Oh, ow! Alright, good thing there's health around here. Don't see him, I just see red. All right, we're good. And just chipping away. Takes a while. Made it. They may have gone a little excessive on their health. But at least you can do some combos on them. If you get the back. Which you can do every time they do that slam. Yeah. That was tough. Courage boy. Bestiary updated. Question mark dudes again. If these things do manage to freeze us. We should stay on the defensive until it passes. We got the rage thingy. I want that for sure. There's another one. Should get me max rage. Bestiary for the heavy draugr. It takes a beat for him to recover after swinging. If we dodge, uh, he'll be open to a counterattack. Which is what I've been doing. Let's go get that other rage gem thing. Spartan Rage is ready. Uh, did I get everything here? Yes. Alright, we're good. So for here, raise it up right to there and then shoot that thing. You did it! All these dead. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safer out here? That is a lot of dead. Let's grab some goodies first. Some soft Spartopime steel. And we may as well break these. A whole nine hack silver. Fourteen. But then that has 254, and you're like, oh, well, what's the point? Oh, what's that smell? Now! Who the 
Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look! Someone start the fires! Sigmund, your knives! So many days without meat. Meat? Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. He's just one man! He killed me. One man! You can take him easy. Another one right there. Atreus! So you want to get rid of this guy right away, in my opinion, so I'm just going to punch him to death. Oh good, and he's going to take a beating too. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, parried! Up you go! It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Escape the ruins. Thought that's what we were already doing. Here. Ops. Oh, it's gonna make me take the help. Find something to pull me up. Okay. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Twenty-four Axel. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. 
The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Okay, we got health there, but I don't need it. Actually, I didn't take any damage. We do have a chest. Faces of Magic, new artifact set. We found this scary mask in the dangerous part of the river pass. Let's keep an eye out for more. Somebody might pay good uh, hack silver for these. And if we find them all, it's 350 experience, although we won't be able to find all of them anytime soon. I believe we can get seven now. Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever ask mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beat ya, Dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Now you're talking... Upgrade weapon. Welcome to a dwarven shop. From here you can upgrade equipment you already own, or craft entirely new equipment. Press right on the d-pad to go to the upgrade menu. Uh, Brock has given you a frozen flame, a rare resource. Resources found in the world can be used to craft and upgrade your equipment. Uh, press X to select the Leviathan Axe. Uh, Kratos' equipment has power levels and stats. Upgrading the axe levels it up and increases strength, which contributes to Kratos' overall power level and stats. Kratos' power level and stats are displayed here. Press uh, L3 to show stat descriptions. Uh, runic attack damage can be increased by increasing runic. 
Runic attack cooldowns can be increased, or rather reduced, by increasing cooldown. Uh, each stat has different gameplay benefits. Press L3 again to hide the descriptions. When upgrading an item, the power level and stats gained will be displayed on the item card and also reflected on Kratos' stat table. Upgrading a weapon permanently increases those stats. Other items must be equipped to influence Kratos' stats. Uh, resources required to upgrade an item are displayed at the bottom of the item card. Hold square to upgrade the Leviathan Axe. Upgrade successful. Upgrade of Leviathan Axe is set successful. New skills are now available in the skills tab. Alright, and to upgrade it again, I would need a frozen flame. Uh, the axe is now at level 2. Find another frozen flame to upgrade it further. Upgrading your weapons unlocks new skills for purchase. Visit the skills tab in the pause menu to purchase them. Uh, press circle. Uh, press left on the d-pad to go to the craft menu where you can choose to craft new equipment. Um, so, I should probably make a new chest. I've got a basic one. I can make a Reaver Tunic. Cheaply made but sturdy. Commonly used with Reaver Clans. And it favors defense. It's got defense of 10. Takes 5,000 hacks over to make. Or, I could make a Boarhide Shoulder Guard. Reinforced boiled leather armor. Not very comfortable, but slightly increases strength. So, strength of 12, defense of 4. So, do I want more defense? Or do I want more strength? I'm thinking strength. Because I shouldn't be getting hit anyway. <laughs> At least on this difficulty. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and craft this. Not sure you're winning smiles, armor enough. But why take chances? Boar hide shoulder guard. Common chest armor. Reinforced, boiled... Oh, already seen that. Let's equip it. Good. Strength way up. Alright. And then we can make uh, atreus armor. We can reduce the Talonbow's arrow recharge time. Also has aimed shot. Enemies in air take increased damage. We can increase his melee damage. I don't think he melees yet. And does expose weakness. Enemies disabled. Or disabled. I don't know where I got that. Enemies choked by Atreus will take increased damage. Or we can increase Atreus's recovery speed from enemy attacks. And it'll also give health stone assist. Atreus will sometimes find health stones when Kratos is injured. Um, kind of leaning towards that one. What else can I do while I'm in here, though? Because I don't really care too much about his armor. I wonder if I can upgrade my chest. Oh, I can. To get two more strength and four more defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's 750 hex over. That's nothing. Quality material. Rate you're going might last a day. Trophy earned. Dwarven Ingenuity. Alright. And to upgrade it again, I would need more Aegir's Gold and more Steel. What about the bow? I could upgrade that. Increases arrow damage and makes new Talon bow skills available for purchase. Uh, that's probably better than giving him armor. What'd you forget? Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade his bow. Keep an eye on that big guy, all right? Okay. We could sell. Oh, right. We can sell my artifacts that I picked up. I don't know what that is. Oh no, I don't want to sell that. But this we don't need anymore. Uh, so that's three thousand hack silver for the lost toys. Incredible. Hold you for now. And I don't have enough to give him armor now, do I? Oh, actually. Oh, I would, but I don't have enough steel. Okay, that's fine. You think what you want? Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl. Got me behind there? As long as you don't break nothing. <laughs> Oh, I hear enemies. How dare you. Whoa. 
Watch out! Don't let him buff. Alright, we're good there. Let's go ahead, send him flying. Whoa! Whoa, that's not the dodging I wanted to do. He is gone. Whoa! Not seeing a huge damage difference. I do see a difference, but rather minor. I'm immune! Oh, what? Well, that was dumb. It hit me while immune or just after, so it may as well have hit me while immune. Did seem like I staggered him easier. Oh, yeah, it's definitely staggering him. With ease. Oh, no! Oh, alright, that sucked. Well, I think I'll just play it safe and kill him at range. I would assume it improves my rage damage too, which it seems to be. I think I'm taking out bigger chunks of health. You see? See what my touch for Say, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Wanna see my wares again? Alright, proceed through the gate to the mountain. And, uh, let's see. Ooh, we have new skills available. Unlock. The one I've been looking at, which is probably amazing, because I shouldn't be getting hit, is Permafrost. Perform attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up the Leviathan Axe and inflict frost damage on every hit. So I'm thinking that's what I want to try out first. I'll save the rest of my experience for later. Why is my armor highlighted? You have equipped armor that contains an enchantment socket. Enchantments can only be socketed into equipped armor and talismans that have enchantment sockets. Enchantments provide stat bonuses and unique perks when the item they are socketed into is equipped. Some armors can have up to three enchantment sockets. Press square to select the socket uh, on equipped armor. Press down on the d-pad to select the empty socket. Press X to select from available enchantments. And I have a symbol of perseverance that gives two defense. Select an enchantment and press X to equip it into this armor's socket. You have successfully equipped an enchantment into this armor. More enchantments can be found exploring the world or purchased at shops when available. And we got the trophy, Enchanted. Okay, now why is my armor still highlighted? I don't know. But it is. Skills is highlighted just because I have new skills I didn't check out. May as well do that now. Whirling Storm, while evading, hold left forward and press R1 to perform a, a quick axe attack. What do we have over here? Precision Thrill Combo. After landing a Precision Axe Throw, weak points and headshots. Press Triangle during the flash to recall the Leviathan Axe and cause the next throw or melee attack to explode on contact, inflicting frost damage. Or Freezing Burst. Aim and hold R2 to charge up the Leviathan Axe and cause an explosion on impact that inflicts frost damage. Interesting, but look at that charge of time. That's way too slow. Nothing new here. I don't know if I ever showed them before, but I will eventually. And then we have bow stuff. What's this? Oh, got to continue the journey for those. Uh, increases arrow damage and melee damage. Increases the talon bow's firing rate. I don't care about either of those. The only one I've been thinking about is this one. Um, Atreus can perform a high or a variety of high stun damage attacks when enemies are near. That could potentially be really good, um, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now until I do some more testing. All right, and I got a new codex entry into the bestiary, I think. Uh, projectile? No. Hmm. I don't know which one was. Oh, Brock. He's in here. We met this dwarf on our way to the mountain, and he's a blacksmith. A famous blacksmith, apparently. He made the Leviathan Axe. He 
He upgraded it for father, too. He was a little rude and grouchy, but I kind of like him anyway. I hope we see him again. Alright, so... what? I thought I just had that. Oh, okay, I did. So let's see, I know there's some stuff around here. Like uh -huh. this. I didn't even see this here. And it's another face of magic. All right, let's see, was it this way? No. Where I need to go. Let me look in the trees really quick. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Gratitude? Hey, fucking Gratitude, come over here. I like it. Actually, let me see. Oh, yep, he's got dialogue. Let me talk to him. Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Because I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me, and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Sorry. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual complimented dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. All right, that's it for him. All right, we want to take this bridge over here. Whoops. Heck, Silver. You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. More steel. Hmm, rage. I do need it. Nice. And we can open this up. This just goes back to the area we were previously. We're back here again. But there is health here, so I may as well use it. It all went according to plan. Alright, and that should be it down here. All right, so uh, yeah, we're probably about a third through this quest, somewhere around there. So I think this is a good place to wrap it up. We're just over an hour at this point. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.